Look, we're doing creek fishing today. I'm excited. It's 6 a.m. I'm sitting in the car putting together little grub combos um, for creek fishing today. Anybody knows me, I do a lot of crappie fishing. I got like literally hundreds and thousands of combos I could do um, from fuzzy feather jigs to, to grubs. I chose to go with like a little grub look today. Um, it's November. Now, you got your crawdad. You always got to have a crawdad in your arsenal, but... These little two baits, you know, they mimic the grubs, crustacean nymphs, uh, little tiny minnows, things like that, that they'd eat in their natural habitat. I love creek fishing. It gets down to my roots. That's where I started fishing. That's where my passion for the sport developed. Um, so this is going to be fun for me. Now, the thing about creek fishing I love is the different variety and species you can catch is, is crazy you know rock bass and crappie and spotted bass and smallmouth and green sunfish green hybrid pumpkin seed variety of different types of brim um, creek chub lots of creek chub um, so this should be fun it's gonna be slippery down there I can't wait to probably gonna fall uh, it, it's always been pretty rough down there it's been raining um, everybody subscribed so far thank you very much if you like the video please subscribe hit like uh, down in the comments below, please give me any tips, techniques, or anything that could be helpful I should be doing on my video. Um, thank you, everybody. I can't wait to do the video. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. So we're down there going to do a little creek fishing. Um, see that? We're right in town here. Here's a bridge. Um, we're right next to the road. So you got this little stream feeding in right here. And the current, you see it right there? It goes right out to there the deep pocket and that's where we're going to be fishing um so we're going to make a few casts with our jigs tip the night crawler see if we can catch us some fish all right let's go just watching the slack Tiny guy. Crappie man right there. Little creek chub. Alright. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm talking about the slack reed. So my line is just sitting straight on the top. You kind of watch your line. Boom. Oh, look at that. That is a crappie minnow right there. It's a lot of time. That's where I get all my bait fish. I'll clean this spot out, I'd say, huh? Watching the slack. Took his face off. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> so grubs work good. It, pretty much anything that mimics a little minnow, worm, or a crawdad, you're going to nail them. And then every now and then you're like utterly surprised at what you catch. See, I'm watching my line. GoPro, stop recording. Dig on. Tipped night crawler. It's tiny. I'm going to cast right out in the middle here. Now, I do what's called, uh, I watch my line. It's a little bit different. Um, I kind of read my slack. I don't know if you can see that. So I cast out. I just kind of watch it, and when it moves forward, kind of dragging along there. I 
I kind of throw the jig into the current because that's where these creeks are going to be feeding off of. And read your slack, bam. As soon as your slack starts going out, you just give it a jerk and rip its face off. See that? Little creek chub you know. He swallowed that. All right. So I'll show you guys again. Look at that, he's got like a little growth on him. It's weird, look at that. So when you're fishing in these streams, you just kind of want to watch the current. And what they do is they sit out in these deep pools like that. And they kind of wait for anything that kind of flows down through there, whether it be an insect or anything like that. Throw it, watch your line, bam. As soon as your line takes off, you rip its face off. Another little creek chub. And these guys are great bait fish. I like to use these for catfishing, bass when they're finicky. And then if you catch the super small ones on these tiny grubs, then you can use them for crappie bait also. Kind of drag it along the bottom. I think we're going to move up to this other spot so I can show you how to structure fish with light line in these creeks. There's another one. Big old creek chub. See that? See the rosy color on them? When the creek chubs, when they, the males get large, they'll get rosy, and uh, they'll get rosy face, head, and then in this backside, and they'll start to get these little tubercles, like spikes on their head, when they start to hit maturity. Pretty cool. Throw it out there. Watch your slack. Bam. That's pretty much it. Um, creek fishing is pretty easy now in here you can find all kinds of stuff based I mean it's pretty cold it's mid-november now but um, you can start to catch spotted bass smallies I've caught pickerel in here um, green sunfish rock bass pretty much anything okay ooh, bad cast These deers are scraping on these trees real bad. Look at that. Destroying it. Doesn't stand a chance. And it's on every single one of them too. I mean this one ain't as bad, but yeah, they're hitting it last year. Pretty cool guys. Let's do a little bit of fishing right here see if we can get anything kind of went to the other spot didn't do very good where I want to show you the bot the bar bobber tutorial thing or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna try to bobber fish right here I guess so we're just gonna put a bobber on it's loud in town today He's hitting it. Got him. Yay. 
So that's how you do it when there's structure around. Um, that way you don't get tangled up on the bottom. Little creek chip. Throw it right up in there. Oh, I got too anxious. Watching the line, watching the bobber. Got him. Didn't stand a chance, buddy. This is my town. Man, he's got that little black stuff all over him. A lot of good fish for bait in here, that's for sure. Yeah, I caught a pickerel out of here like 10 years ago. And a pretty nice one too. And I was jig fishing just like this. And uh, I was mind blown, but then again, you know, pickerel like grassy streams and stuff like that. There's a good spot. Well, I'm good with that now to the spot, I guess. We're going to move back down into the bridge real quick, see if we can get us one last chub monster before the video's over. Yeah, sometimes I like to use like real tiny uh, Mal Mal Malibu fuzzy jigs or real tiny um, crayfish looking jigs. Those always seem to work really good. And in the summertime, I don't even tip it with night collar or nothing like that. I just kind of jig fish. Bobber fishing under the bridge. One more cast. Come on, baby. I got a nice little hit right here. Take it. Another creek chub. All right. Hey guys, I think that's pretty much a wrap. Um, we did pretty good. We didn't catch anything big, but we got numbers. Um, hope my tips and techniques helped out. That's just what I do. Um, at least help you catch a little bait fish, see what's in your creek. Um, Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.